Dear readers, welcome to our channel. Is this real? In the frenzy of the automotive industry, Huawei, like a quietly detonated bomb, has silently risen, sparking a silent revolution. With a bold investment of 30 billion, miraculously avoiding joining the car manufacturing army, Ren Zhengfei stands firm at the summit. With Yu Chengdong taking the lead as the chairman of Hongmeng Intelligent Travel, Huawei's automotive strategy seems like an overwhelming hidden tide. Why does Ren Zhengfei insist on not manufacturing cars? Yet, car manufacturers flock to Huawei. How does Huawei create a craze in the automotive industry? Ordinary car models, after shaking hands with Huawei, become incredibly powerful. What is the secret behind this collaboration? Join us as we navigate through the fog of Huawei's automotive endeavors, unraveling the puzzle that captivates the entire automotive industry. Why is Huawei so silent but plays a trump card on the big stage of business? Why does Ren Zhengfei insist on not manufacturing cars while appointing his trusted aide, Yu Chengdong, as the chairman? and establishing the automotive brand Hongmeng Intelligent Travel. Why do car manufacturers experience a surge in success once associated with Huawei? Models that used to sell only a few hundred units annually, such as the Sali, transformed into top players in the industry after the transformation, achieving 70,000 orders in 45 days, dominating the automotive industry. Even Cherry, which struggled in the high-end market, broke the 20,000 pre-order mark in just 20 days after its transformation into Intelligent Realm, what role does Huawei, which has consistently refrained from manufacturing cars, want to play in the automotive industry? We must mention a hidden giant, Dr. Bosch, the world's largest and strongest supplier of automotive components, including engines, chassis, and body systems. Dr. Bosch, considered the foundation of modern automotive technology, dominates the industry's development with terrifying power. In 2022, Bosch's total revenue reached 680 billion renminbi, surpassing Huawei. Huawei aims to become the Bosch of the intelligent era, taking on tasks that even Bosch cannot handle currently. Huawei has three cooperation models with car manufacturers, Care One is similar to Bosch's model where the car manufacturer pays for standardized intelligent components. The second is the comprehensive high solution provided by Huawei, including Hongmeng cockpit and Huawei support. While the car manufacturer focuses on manufacturing the car, the third is Huawei intelligent selection, where Huawei not only assists in creating intelligence, but also participates in product definition, branding, and marketing. This model if successful, will not just replicate another Huawei in the automotive industry but a vast market with a trillion-dollar revenue. Some may wonder, why does Huawei, originally known for smartphones and telecommunications, empower car manufacturers? Why are even giants like Mercedes-Benz eager to associate with Huawei? In reality, Huawei's technological strength in the automotive industry is monstrous. Apart from smart cars, Huawei's five major departments include SAT, specializing in decades of communication technology. The T-Box product, used in cars to connect external base stations and internal smartphones, has not only been used by Huawei itself but also adopted by BYD, GAC, and SAIC. The end department's Hongmeng system can be directly replicated into cars and cloud computing can handle the massive data generated by intelligent systems. His silicon is the chip department, led by Wei Xiaoli, who is just starting to develop self-designed chips. Huawei has already reached their endpoint, meanwhile, the digital energy department is Huawei's hidden advantage. This department has three small business groups, data center energy and critical power, which performs battery maintenance in harsh environments such as Africa. This technology can be fully replicated into automotive power battery management systems. The second is smart photovoltaics, where Huawei's inverter market share has firmly occupied the global first place for eight years. 
the core motor technology of new energy vehicles is mainly based on inverters. Based on the technology from these two departments, Huawei established the Smart Electric Business Unit in 2018. In the past two years, this unit has come up with solutions for the 800V high voltage, which has just rolled out. Although the car business unit seems to have been established for only four years, the underlying technology has been accumulated for decades. And in the core 3D field, Huawei has accumulated for years. In fact, Huawei began laying out the automotive field as early as 2014. At that time, while Sapeng he was busy selling UC Optics to Jack Ma's ideal, he was also the president of Auto Home. However, Huawei had already discovered that after the era of mobile internet. The next blue ocean was smart cars. At that time, the rotating president, Xu Jijun, dared to think and do quietly established the pre-department of smart cars, conducting in-depth research on smart driving, motors, electronic control, system bus, in-vehicle systems, etc., all in secret, even Ren Zhengfei was unaware of it. So, why does Ren Zhengfei still insist on not manufacturing cars, because sometimes, the most challenging thing is not to stand firm in the trough, but to stay clear-headed in a restless era. This is an era where even liquor sellers want to manufacture cars, from Gris to Xiaomi to Evergrande. Regardless of what you did before, everyone wants to take a bite of the trillion-dollar market cake. Huawei was also momentarily dazzled by the chaos, and Huawei's logo was pasted on the cars of Wanjie. At this time, Ren Zhengfei came forward again to reiterate not to manufacture cars, defining the boundaries of cooperation. All Huawei logos on Wanjie cars were removed. Many speculated that Huawei's decision not to manufacture cars was a helpless move due to a lack of qualification and funds. However, from the perspective of the entire industry, it is not a bad strategic choice to step back and consider the overall situation. Domestic cars have long been labelled as low-end. In the midst of the automotive industry's centennial transformation, everyone wants to seize the opportunity to impact the high-end. If Huawei enters the car manufacturing scene with its technological strength, it might be able to carve out a path in the industry, but it would only be a Huawei car. However, by opening up its capabilities, many car manufacturers can soar with Huawei's help. Sai Li Sai and Cherry are the best proof. In the future, more Sai Li Sai and Cherry will join Huawei's grand plan. When the market grows, Huawei's profits from it will certainly not be less than reversing a car. With technology, strategic vision, and firm principles, Huawei is not easily defeated by a mere US sanction. Finally, let me summarize for readers, hoping you have gained insights and reflections. This video reveals the trillion dollar business secret behind Huawei's automotive endeavors, providing readers with profound insights and reflections. Firstly, from Huawei's strategy of persistently not manufacturing cars but empowering car manufacturers, we can see that maintaining a clear head and defining one's positioning is crucial in an era of fierce business competition. Huawei's choice is not a last resort but a wise move to stay calm in a restless era, demonstrating the wisdom of weighing pros and cons. This serves as a warning for us to contemplate whether, in our daily lives and work, we can adhere to our original intentions and face challenges rationally. Secondly, through the various collaboration models between Huawei and car manufacturers, we see the power of innovation. In the traditional and vast automotive industry, Huawei dares to break conventions, providing different levels of collaboration plans, demonstrating the business wisdom of flexibility. This offers a reference for us when seeking solutions and dealing with challenges in our work. Perhaps hidden in the process of breaking conventions is more business opportunities and chances. Lastly, Huawei's technological strength and long-term layout demonstrate the importance of strategic vision. In the article, we see that Huawei, through the collaboration of multiple departments, combines communication technology, chip technology, digital energy, 
and other fields organically, forming a powerful automotive empowerment capability. This gives us food for thought on how, in an era of change, to leverage our advantages, integrate resources, and build a more robust comprehensive strength. In conclusion, Huawei's trillion-dollar business secret in the automotive industry brings us profound insights. It showcases not only business wisdom but also an example of how to stay innovative, adhere to principles, and leverage technological advantages in the industry transformation. In this new era of automobiles, what we can learn goes far beyond the business mysteries of the automotive industry. It is the importance of maintaining a clear mind and courageously innovating in the face of fierce competition. In today's industry, do you think adhering to principles or innovation is more critical? We look forward to your comments, and let's explore this exciting topic together. That's it for today's video. Stay tuned for the next exciting content. Goodbye. Bye.